My next guest tonight is a cultural icon who 50 years ago led the New York Jets to a Super Bowl victory and took home the MVP award. He's no stranger to Broadway. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Joe Namath. <laughs> Thanks wow. so much for being yeah. here. Thank you for having me. Happy us. to have you back here in the Ed Sullivan Theater, where you were 50 years ago, right there, with Mr. Sullivan, after winning the Super Bowl. Right there. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually remarkably unchanged. Um, now, I look a lot like Mr. Sullivan at this point. Now. <laughs> Now, you're not just a, a, a sports hero, but you're also, uh, you're also an icon uh, uh, of many things, but style is one of them. You've got some extraordinary uh, sartorial choices. <laughs> back in the hey! <laughs> why? <laughs> when, did the, when did the furs start? Why, why so many furs, Joe Namath? I just got lucky. You know, I, I, I yes. like uh, clothes and uh, I figure. Were you often it's a cold? Of style. Yes, I get cold. I mean, yeah. it's cold in here, too, yeah. as a matter cold of fact. Cold in here? Uh, yeah. Like, well, if you're cold, would you. What, Joe, I got you a little something here if you want to wear. <laughs> now it's. Hey! It's, uh, oh. There you go. It's faux. Oh, you going to do that it's for me? It's 2000. Come here, put your arm. There you go. There. Oh, it's, my It's 2019, God. so it's a faux fur, sir, if you don't mind. Wow. Right there. <laughs> Like this, the style. Hey, well, what about you? What? What about okay, you? Okay, chill. Yeah, sure. How about, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ha! Ha! Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll try. Oh, there you go. There. All right. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. There you go. Yeah. Now. We're going to take this another step further. We're, We're going to take, take, take another step. You got to be you, cool now. I got to be cool? Yes. All right. Take, you got to take those off. Yeah. I mean yours. You brought your own props. I like I this. I did. I did. It's your like team, it. you know. OK. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, yes. Really. This feels. Whoa! This, this is good. I like this coat. This feels right. <laughs> <laughs> it actually really strangely does look right on you. Yeah. Not everybody can pull that off. No, you you were known as Broadway Joe. You uh you 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 lived you lived high life. You know, you 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 went out a lot. How could you go out during the season and still and still play or still practice? How how did you maintain both of those, Mr. Joni? I tell you what, see, I, I, we got lucky. We had a coach named Weeb Eubank mm -hmm. that did not want to practice before game time. <laughs> game time's usually one o'clock in the afternoon, so we had to be at the stadium to practice every day at twelve o'clock, high noon. Now, I, I, I'm pretty good at math, and it didn't take me long to figure out for me to get seven hours sleep, because <laughs> Shea Stadium was very close. What time would I have to go to sleep at night? <laughs> this is New York, man, right? Sure. <laughs> well, hey, I made a good run, you Five o'clock in the morning, and you're well, fine. Well, four was good. You can okay. get seven hours. Well, you, you got a, a new book called All the Way, and 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 in, in this, you you uh, you you do play by play essentially. You do analysis of your own plays, the own the, your the own your own action on the field. But I've got another play by play I'd like you to do for us right now. We've got some some footage of you, and I'd like you to tell us. Uh, we'll see, see the footage and tell us what's going on here, Jim. This commercial will prove to the women of America that beating this pantyhose can make any legs look like a million dollars. Yeah. Now, I don't wear pantyhose, but if beauty mist can make my legs look good, imagine what they'll do for yours. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, yeah. everything looks better through beauty mist. 
especially your leg. So. <laughs> now you became, that was a famous, that was very famous. <laughs> that caused quite a splash in the day. Did you, like, when this idea was brought to you, did you jump straight at it, or you were like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm a no, you player. know what, man? I, we, I, we looked at the storyboard and we thought it was fun, a partner of mine and I, and uh, we turned to the lady, the secretary in the room, so what do you think about this? You know, we were excited yeah. about doing it because it was a good product, certainly, and she said, oh, it's funny, but my dad wouldn't like it. So why? What do you mean your dad wouldn't like it? He said, well, football players aren't supposed to wear pantyhose. <laughs> and I said, well... It was a good day. It was a good company and a good payday. So we went for it. Sure. And uh, mm -hmm. one good thing about it, I went back to Alabama after that uh, was made, and the gentleman came in and a uh, restaurant that I had there, and he was an old timer, about 80 years old. And he said, Looky here, Joe Willie, son. He said, I, I don't mind you wearing them their pantyhose, boy, but did you shave your legs? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the fact of the matter is, if you tape your knees and tape your ankles, you yep. better shave your legs ahead of time. Oh, yeah. sure, sure. Now, uh, did you ever, you, you were also known for dating quite a few quite beautiful women. Did you, were you ever intimidated back in the day? Are there any stories of your intimidation in here of asking a young lady out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, and I don't mean to pry, but would you be willing to share one of those stories no. with it? No. <laughs> no. 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 It's in there, you know. You, you've got to buy the book or else you, you won't know. tell us the story. You it's, went out with Raquel Welch. Yeah, we went to the Oscars together. That's right. That's got to be intimidating. That was. No, you hit that, 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 that was really intimidating. I mean, she was very special, of course. No, I, we, we got to go in here in a second, but I just, for personally, I got to ask a question. You, I'll switch over here so I can see who you are. There you are. <laughs> you actually, you guest hosted The Tonight Show for Johnny. What an amazing experience. What was that like for you to sit in that chair? Uh, Steve, it was uh, terrifying. I mean, it wasn't terrifying because I had been a guest on the show a few times. Sure, but it's a difference to have to drive it. And Freddie DeCorda was right over here guiding, helping me and sure. Ed McMahon, you know. And so w what happened, though, Buddy Hackett came on. Buddy great, Hackett. Great comedian, Buddy Hackett. Yeah. yeah, man, he was he was, he was was really something. And so we're setting up this uh, uh, part where Buddy's supposed to get up and go do a bed. And I'm talking. I said, well, Mr. Hackett, Buddy, you're going to do a bed for us. Come on, let's go. He said, nope. I didn't know what to do. Right. I said, no, and I know I'm looking. I said, yeah. oh, okay, well, we'll take a break. We'll take a break here. And, uh, yeah. See, that, I was stunned. Did you by any chance at any point ever ask Buddy Hackett to tell a story about being intimidated by some of the beautiful women he asked out? <laughs> and he said, no, you have to read it in the book? No? Because that can happen, too. Oh, oh gee. <laughs> Well, the man is the great Joan Namath. The book is the great all the way. On sale now. Got to buy it to get the stories. We'll be right back, everybody.